so we are just nine days away to election day. Welcome to the big show, the big midterm show on a Sunday night. I'm Bill Hemmer. With me this evening, former advisor to President Trump, Kellyanne Conway, Axio senior politics reporter Josh Krashauer, and former Biden campaign surrogate Kevin Walling. Uh, Kevin, House and Senate, what happens? I think Democrats are going to buck historic trends. I think we're going to keep the House with Speaker Pelosi in charge, and we're going to pick up a few seats in the Senate. We're going to hold Nevada. We're going to flip Pennsylvania. We're going to hold Georgia. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Pick you're up gonna, Ohio. You're gonna hold Nevada. Hold Nevada. You're going to hold Pennsylvania. Hold, we're going to flip Pennsylvania. Copy. Yes. We're going to keep Georgia. Yes. New Hampshire. And we have some good opportunities in Ohio with Tim Ryan, Mandela Barnes in Wisconsin. You saw fired up President Obama on the campaign trail mm. with that ticket in Wisconsin, the Badger State. That's tough sledding. It's it's problematic, certainly. And I think to Kellyanne's point earlier before the, this segment, uh, th this particular conversation, it's all about the economy. I've been shouting from the rooftops to my fellow Democrats that we've got to focus on that issue, especially in a state like Pennsylvania, where you just showed how tight that race has gotten. And, uh, you know, the president was there, obviously, on Friday campaigning with the vice president, one of the few times we've seen them on the campaign trail together. I think the most interesting split screen of this election cycle will actually be on November 5th when President Trump is there. Uh, campaigning with Doug Mastriano and with Dr. Oz, and you see Joe Biden and Barack Obama campaigning with John Fetterman and Josh Shapiro. I think as an American, right, first, I, it's a good thing to see more uh, candidates of color, more women running as Republicans. I want a Congress that looks like America. That's the Democratic Party, and that's hopeful for some of these Republicans. Now, we're still going to beat them, but it's good to see them running. 